Thank you, Romeo 1630, with our observation. Wind at 340 at charge, visibility 10. Few clouds at 1500. Ceiling 2200 broken, 3200 overcast, temperature 21217, altimeter 3003. RNAB, I'm at 27 left, approaching you. And then departing, I'm at 27 left, and I'm at 27 right. Uh, for departures, contact ground control on 121.9 for clear. Goodbye, this contact. Give information, Romeo. Romeo, all right. I think Rapid Answer 21 Charlie November at Micro with Romeo. Uh, ready to taxi. Number 21 Charlie November, Pontiac Ground Runway 27 right, pass the on the aircraft off your right, and then taxi via Delta. All right, 27 right via Delta behind the aircraft on my right. Uh, 21 Charlie November. All right, so we're taking the Bonanza up to Lapeer, and we're going to get our yaw damper installed. It's going to tie into our STEC 55X uh, autopilot. And what that's going to do is help hopefully take care of some of that uh, light tail wag that we get in the uh, V-tail when we get into some light turbulence uh, during cruise flight. Uh, also just you know give us a cleaner ride. And while we're at it, we're also going to place an order for the X upgrade for the Aspen 1000. And hopefully they can get that in and installed while our plane's up there getting the uh, damper installed as well. All right, we go through our run-up checklist now. Our brakes on hold, doors are secure. Our window up. That seat belt's fastened, fuel selector, we are on the left tank. Bolts are positive, aux pump is off. Belt temp, we're greater than 75 degrees. Engine speed, we're gonna get that up to 1700 RPM. And we're gonna cycle the prop. Alright, we got a drop in RPM, rise in manifold pressure, we're getting back up to 1700. And we're gonna check our magnetos, going back to the left. And we got about a 90 RPM drop, back to bowl. Now to the right magneto. And the same thing, about a 90 RPM drop, back to bull. And back up and down to idle. Five, three, Charlie 7 for custom. Novajet 53, Pontiac Ground Tax via Charlie, Charlie 3. Charlie, Charlie 3, Novajet 53. And we're idling right around 650. Pretty good. Get a power back up. And double check our engine gauges again. We're still in the green. HTs and our exhaust temps look good. Let's check our flight controls. Back. Okay. And trim wheel set to neutral, and we're ready to take off. So we're going to take off runway 27 right. We're going to depart to the north to Lapeer. In the event that we have an engine failure on the runway, we're going to bring it to idle, get it off safely. Uh, engine failure, low 2,500 feet in this airplane. We're going to just land somewhere best, plus or minus 20 degrees in front of the airplane. Okay, uh, ground, command uh, most likely in this case, I'm taking off over a lake, so we're going to end up on a beach. Above that, we're going to take it back to the airport, and I'm going to turn right into the wind. And obviously, put that nose down and keep my airspeed up. Expect 5,000, one zero minutes after departure. Timer set. Mixture's full rich. Props full forward. And we're going to rotate at 63 knots. Pontiac Tower, Bonanza 2-1 Charlie November is holding short. Runway 27 right, departing to the north. And there's a 2 one Charlie November, Pontiac Tower, right turn to the north, approved runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Right turn approved, 27 right, clear for takeoff, 2 one Charlie November. Clear 3 0 short, runway 27 right, clear to land. 27 right, clear to land. Instruments are still in the green. I've got no traffic on final. 27 right, identified. And let's get that center line in and start rolling in the power. And here comes that right rudder. And a little bit of wind correction here. And we're light, so we're off. 
All right, climbing out around 70 knots, 75 knots. Out of runway, so our landing gear is coming up. All right, safe altitude, we're going to start that turn to the north. And direct, activate. At GPS, we're going to climb up to only about 2,000 feet. We're going to fly low to uh, Lapeer. It's about 25 nautical miles, so it's a real quick flight. And we'll go through our cruise checklist. Cocoa Tower, Cirrus, uh, 285 Whiskey Tango. I think we got a left base for right, two. We're going to close the towel flaps. Uh, Cirrus, 285 Whiskey Tango, Pony Tower, uh, from your current position. And throttle. You'll be on a right base for the right base on the left. You have two on the site? I have a field site, Cirrus, 285 Whiskey Tango. Cirrus, 285 Whiskey Tango, come on in, runway 27 left. And we'll lean it out. 27 left, we'll land on 285 Whiskey Tango. 43 Jafar, runway 27 right, taxi to Delta. And right away, we can start getting our weather. I'll hold it short. Zulu, weather, wind, three, six, zero, at, five, visibility, one, zero, two. All right, we got winds three, six, zero, at five, and we got the altimeter setting for three, zero, zero, two. And I'm waiting to transfer over to DuPont Lapeer's CTAP until I'm outside of Delta airspace. Or tower calls and you know, it gives me that okay to switch frequencies. Not the best uh, day for VFR flying. Definitely would be on an instrument flight. Seven eight zero one Charlie no longer. I have no traffic in the north. Frequency change approved. Have a safe flight. There it is. Frequency change approved. Do one Charlie November. And that's exactly what happened, right? I'm listening to CTAF over at uh, Lapeer Airport. And I'm just going to listen for a minute. I'm going to try and figure out the climate star. One, two, three, Tango Victor, 10 miles to the south. Crossing midfield for a left downwind runway 07. One, two, three, Tango Victor. All right, so that's a comp, that's another, uh, it's a shared frequency for another airport. I'm still listening to figure out what's going on. Is there traffic there? Is there, uh, what runways are they landing on, even though I think 360 is the best runway? Can I have traffic doing something different there? It's an uncontrolled airport. I'm going to wait until I'm about 10 miles out, make my first call, and uh, let them know what I plan to do. And when I drop the plane off there to get the work done, a uh, hangar neighbor of ours, Eric, has a 1947 Champ, a uh, beautiful Champ. It's got a full electrical, so all we will have is battery-powered uh, headsets make our communications as we make our way back to Pontiac when he picks us up. DuPont Lapeer traffic, green champ, one mile left, 45 left downwind, 36 Lapeer. That's Eric, making calls on his battery-powered headset and radio uh, into Lapeer. I'm going to scoot north a little bit, west of the airport, so I can enter a standard downwind uh, for the airport traffic pattern. It's a left traffic pattern for the north airport. Green North Runway. Left base, final three, six, Lapeer. Lapeer traffic Bonanza 2 1, Charlie November is 10 miles to the southwest. I'll be uh, inbound for a full stop for three, six. All right. Let me get ready to descend here, so let's do a quick check. We got ATIS. Altimeters are set. Approach brief, we talked about that. I'll be doing a standard pattern entry for uh, three, six. That diagram will pop up and be available on our GTN. And we're going to stay on the left main for this. It's a short flight. And we'll go through our final dumps check as we make our way into the pattern. Let's go ahead and throw my landing lights on now as we're getting inbound. And a few things you need to think about. Co traffic, time is there. Three Tango Victor, two miles to the south. Cross the midfield, entering the left downwind through runway seven. Time co traffic. You're flying into an uncontrolled airport, you got to think about what's the runway I'm landing on, what's the traffic doing, but you also got to think about what's my entry point, how do I want to enter that, in, that traffic, and then simple things, what's my traffic pattern altitude. I've got the field just to the northeast of me right now, I've got it in sight. Pretty good distance for me to come in and enter. Uh, Let's go traffic, 35. Victor crossing the field, teardrop. Entry to the left downwind for runway 7. Up to the traffic. 
I'm going to wait and make a call as I'm about five miles away. Sparrow 541, go to those, left down for a three fix flip here. Flip here traffic, Bonanza 2-1 Toronto November is about five miles west of the field. I'll be entering a uh, left downwind on a 45 for runway 36, flip here. The thing I learned about this airplane as we got into it, it's uh, these Bonanzas are pretty slippery and, and they'll tend to uh, hold a lot of airspeed. Turning final for 36, flip here. So really plan your uh, lead off with your airspeed. Uh, for us in this airplane, uh, 110 knots is our safe speed for the gear down, and then about 90 knots to get our first set of flaps in. So we have to be cognizant of that as we're making our way in. As soon as we get the gear down, it tends to work pretty well as far as slowing the airplane down pretty quick. And there we are, about 110 knots if we take gear down as we make our way towards the airport. I like to get my cowl flaps open here. I'm starting to get into that slow flight as we get into the pattern. And if I had to go around for some reason, you want your cowl flaps in, uh, obviously, for pulling that engine on the climb out. All right, gas on the full. So undercarriage is down. I got confirmation three green. That mixture is full rich. And prop will work that in on the downwind leg. Air speed's looking good. Right around traffic pattern altitude now. Up here, traffic, Bonanza 2 Toronto November is entering a left downwind for runway 36, up here. All right, get those flaps in. 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, 5-1000, 6-1000, 7-1000, 8-1000, 9-1000, 10-1000, 11-1000, 12-1000, 13-1000, 14-1000, 15-1000, 16-1000, 17